on. Please look at this first slide with the title of our presentation prepared by our small team in Ukraine despite the war in our country. Next. As a rule, our scientists showed the results of land productivity investigation for many years as typical for more or less homogeneous soil cover. However, we discovered with the quadrocopter that in spring after snow sowing, our fields are covered with temporary lakes, like a field with winter wheat below of this slide, or sections with different humidity and color, like field prepared for corn. And such picture was observed from one to four weeks. That is why, next, that is why we started to watch one such large temporary lake from spring till autumn. And as you see, after four weeks of inundation, all plants of wheat have died in autumn. Look here. After that, we started to study soil cover next. In such micro depression or potholes, some soil properties and water regime of soil. You can see at this slide parameters of uh, macro depression, size about 100 meters, depth about one meters, soil profiles, differences at bottom of the depression and on a flat plain, content of organic matter and soil moisture on the bottom slope and flat of micro depressions. Next. Next stage of our study, it is from one separate potholes to the field of 30 hectares with sowing of winter wheat. You see here many temporal lakes after snow sowing, which used up water for filtration and evaporation during from one to four weeks, depending on their depths. Next. Here we are show an operation of winter wheat plants after different flooding duration. After one week flooding, it is weak growth inhibiting. After two weeks flooding, moderate. And after three weeks flooding, strong oppression. After four weeks, plants have died at all. Next. The same picture of wheat plants development zonality you see at this slide on neighbor fields, like previous. Next. The entire field we studied according to soil and their water regime heterogeneity. On this slide, you can see differences in soil moisture content in the layer from 30 centimeters till 150 centimeters on the bottom of micro depression, on the slope, and on the flat area. Next. Soil map of this field we made due to profile description, drilling wells with carbonate, till carbonate horizon with GPS positioning, and show here in 2D and 3D images. Next. Result of such heterogeneity you see on this picture made of quadrocopter at the end of summer, where plants in micro depression or potholes were immature and with many weeds. Next. Here you can see improvement, important economic information. We studied that in deep uh, depressions, the crop averaged only 33% of yield in control. In medium depression, 71%, 
And in shallow depressions, 84%. In this uh, entire field, the crop shortage was one ton of grain per hectare. Next. Next stage of our investigations was classification of macro depressions or potholes on large field, 150 hectares with the Sentinel-2 imagery on large uh, det determination of the optimal terms of remote sensing in spring and calculation of wheeled losses. At, that, at the same time, we are spread our investigation on alfalfa, sugar beets, and other agricultural plants on the big farm with area about thousands hectares, like this. Next slide, please. You can see some thousand hectares of uh, winter wheat at the time of snow sowing in March and uh, situation in uh, July before harvesting of this field. And we discovered that this problem is very actual for all forest step and step zone in Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Caucasus, and other regions. Next, please. In next slide, we show some calculation of land heterogeneity of fields and wheeled losses. We propose field heterogeneity index calculated by the ratio of micro depression area to all area of the field and, another, and soil heterogeneity index calculated by ratio of area of the prevailing soil to total field area. First index is mostly useful for price correction one while selling or buying a land or for prediction of yield losses because of land heterogeneity. Second index is useful for a precision agriculture while accomplish recommendation for farmers in the field of agrochemistry, soil science, and plant protection. Next. And below you see some conclusion to our presentation. First, micro-depression micro or potholes play the significant role in heterogeneity and land productivity formation. Second, they are spread, spread in forest step and step zone in Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and other countries. Third, our research gave a possibility to assess the crop losses in different agricultural crops. Fourth, climate change affects in amount of crop losses. And here we uh, show you some publications in English, but most of our publication in Ukrainian and Russian and other languages. Uh, the most interesting presentation is first, ecologic and economic estimation on land productivity, special heterogeneity in forest step zone. And second, special heterogeneity of typical Chernozem productivity when growing grasses. At the end, we show you our email address for contacts. And uh, please take into account that my uh, spoken English is not good. So please ask your question in written form to this email address and I will give you answer a bit later. So thank you very much and uh, in Ukrainian language.